This is a game that Kinship's fans will never forget. It was on the 5th of September in 2020 when they had their last game of the season while sitting on top of the APSA Premiership. One task and one task only for cases in a COVID-19 disrupted season, win the match and lift the APSA Premiership title. With no fans allowed at the stadium, Kesichiv's fans watched from home as they hoped that their team would break a five-year wait for a major trophy. Kesichiv's began the game in positive fashion, making a few chances for Samir Nogovic in the early stages, but none of these chances were converted by the Serbian striker. Amakosi continued to play very well in the first half, creating a lot of goal-scoring opportunities, but none of those opportunities were taken by Kesichiv strikers. Riff Rosler also had a long-range shot saved by the Baroka FC goalkeeper. Gets away from him. Back into the danger zone from Banyama. That's a lovely little effort from Karma Biliat. He got his first goal on Wednesday in more than six months. He's angry for more. This is what they need to watch, Baroka. Sasman switching that ball onto the far side where you have Nurkovic. Not only is he good aerially, but he controls the ball, brings it a good cross. And that bicycle kick had good intentions in it, but in the end, not on target. I come a Kizif scored their breakthrough on the 38th minute when Kama Billiard finished a beautiful move after Samir Nukovic chested the ball on his path. A beautiful finish by Kama Billiard and he had Kizif's fans believing across the country that this was the day when they would break a five-year wait for a major trophy. Kaiser Chiefs to the title. Scored at the right time. And you're absolutely right to say now he has built the appetite to get the goals. And the class that is displayed, we will see it unfolding. Well, you'd expect a bit more of a smile from Ernst Bittendorf. Bobby Mutong is celebrating. 20 minutes later, Kizijibs were dealt a major blow as Baroka FC got an equalizer from Kambala in the 58th minute. Oh, Baroka! Kambala, the Mozambican, and Barocca have equalized. And now Babaloni Sundowns are in the driving seat on the way to the championship. What a turn up here at Bidvest Stadium. Ten goals now conceded in the bio bubble by Kaiser Chiefs. That is by far the most important. Only a second for the Mozambican Kambala in his first season in the PSL. The man from Quilimani could well hand the league title to Mamelodi Kizzi's Sunday. fans across the country were still optimistic as their team still had around 30 minutes to win the game. Kizzi failed to get another goal in the match, which meant they had to share the points with Baroka FC, meaning Mamelodi Sunday were the eventual winners as they won their last match of the season. A disappointing result for Amakosi and a result that will remain in the memory for Amakosi fans for a very long time. Now seconds away from the final whistle. Abongile Tom, the referee, is the man now that we'll be watching. There it is. Baroka have saved themselves. Kaiser Chiefs have let it slip. Mamelodi Sundowns are going to win the championship. There is Dylan Kerr. Ernst Mittendorp has watched this slip away. Celebration for Baroka. Heartbreak for Kaiser Chiefs. Four seasons later, Amakosi have never come close to winning the DSTV Premiership or the APSA Premiership as it was previously known. A wait continues for Amakosi and their fans as their trophy drought has now come close to 10 years.